Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be working on a budget for August. If you guys have never been here before, hi, my name is Emily. I am a single individual, I have a dog, and I live in a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. I also run my own business as well, so some of the normal things that you would see in a normal person's budget you do not see here, like internet and phone and healthcare and like things like that you won't see in my budget here. But everything else is real numbers that I'm gonna share with you today. I don't share incoming, but I do share outgoing. The planner that I use currently for 2018 is, hold on, let me get there, the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. Erin uh, Condren just released their new planners for the 2018-2019 season and this is what it is. I got my new one. I'm actually setting this up a little bit differently this year, but if you guys wanna check out the video doing a walkthrough of this, um, I will leave it up in a card for you guys. That other planner that I just put off camera is not going to be a budget planner for 2019. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for 2019. I will still be doing budgets and budgeting videos, but I'm just not sure if I wanna maybe switch it up or do something different. I'm not really sure. But anyway, if you guys have been with me for a little while, you know that I set up my planners in this way where August 2018, and then I always use these little long sticky notes, also from Erin Condren, that has kinda like things that I might need to spend some money on. Actually, car tabs was last month. I forgot to put it in, but it was $51, and it's already been bought and paid for. I still have to like slap them on my car. That probably should be like something I should do, right? But State Fair is my like, big expenditure that's not my normal expenses. So typically every month things look fairly similar, but sometimes they look a little bit different. But I'll show you what I'm gonna be using. I have these little like piggy bank stickers from Coffee Break Planner, and then I've also got this sheet. This is an Erin Condren uh, budgeting sticker decoration sheet, and then also from Erin Condren, I'm gonna be using this book. It is the Erin Condren Designer Sticker Book in the Monthly Collection Edition 2, and I'm gonna be using this because I really wanna use this up at the top. Also, I have some washi from my shop. Um, this is just like a really pretty, like tropical looking floral. And then I've got my Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Pen in the blue. And then um, this is also from Erin Connor. It's a clip-in bookmark, so you can kind of just like clip it in if you want, but we don't need to clip it in today. I do use this side of the page. I don't use this side of the page. I've never used this side of the page, but Fun fact, in the new planner, this page is not there. And also this page isn't there either. There's a lot of changes. So definitely check out that video if you guys are interested. But let's get into the decorating, which is the most fun part. I am a decorative planner person. If you guys don't like to decorate your planners or decorate your budgets, that's okay. But that's what I like to do. It makes me stay on task. I mean, I don't know if that's just like my brain telling me that I made a plan, so I've got to stick with it, but maybe, I'm not sure, but I, I don't know. I really like it, I find it helpful for me, but you know, I feel like, I don't know, isn't there like some study out there saying if you write something down, you're like more likely to achieve the goal or do the thing or something? I'm pretty sure there is, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not totally sure, but probably. So I'll put my little August flag up there, which looks super cute. Oh, let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. Sorry, oh, wrong way, Emily, wrong way. Sorry, I haven't had any like caffeination yet today. I need to, I need to work on that. And then from this thing, I'm gonna put this one that says budget right here. Yeah, you kinda can't see that. Uh, okay, well, that's all right, that's okay. All right, and I usually like to start out with this one that says bills on it. Put that right up at the top. And then, like I said, most of my bills are the same every single month. Really, what ends up being a little bit different is just extra expenses. Plus, I have a friend coming to stay with me too, so I'm gonna put that in as well.
here are all of my bills. I kind of messed up on Netflix, but that's okay. We're gonna leave it in. My mortgage is 464.42. I get a lot of questions on my mortgage of why it's so low. If you all are interested, I will um, put up in a card for you guys my mortgage details and how it is so low. Um, so check out that video if you'd like to know more. Um, my HOA is 158. My gas is 55. My Culligan service is 31.85. My electrical, that's always an estimate. I always estimate about $75 this time of year. My garbage is $17.85. Water is $54. That's an estimate. It kind of fluctuates like three or four dollars. And then my auto insurance is the same every month at $85.42 and Netflix is the same at $11.75. I'll get that totaled up in a moment. Um, as for my fuel, I'm gonna estimate about $100. My grocery budget, I'm usually about $200, but I am gonna bump it up to $250. I have a friend coming to stay for four days, five days. Um, at the very end of the month, so I wanna allocate some extra funds for things that I wouldn't normally buy that when they're here, I can accommodate some of their like dietary needs. Um, as for dining, I'm gonna do about $100. Normally I have that a little bit lower, but again, since I have someone coming to stay here, we might be going out to eat a little bit more often or maybe even like ordering a pizza or something one day. And then also, the state fair, I am allocating $100 towards the state fair. I know people think that that's a lot of money for the state fair, but to be honest, it's actually not that bad. And that's gonna go towards all of the entry fees, shuttle fees, food, any souvenirs or anything like that I wanna get. So let's get this totaled up and then we'll go over it. All right, so here are my totals. So for my set expenses up here is $953.29, and then for kind of my fluctuating spending is $550, and then my August total is $1,503.29. I'm gonna use one of these little piggy stickers too, cause you know, cuteness, right guys? I mean, we gotta make it look cute. So that is my budget for August 2018. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in seeing more from me, feel free to hit the red subscribe button. You can also hit the little bell notifications if you wanna be notified when I do upload new content for y'all. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. And if you have any suggestions on a good planner to use for 2019 for my budget, let me know. I'm kinda open to different ideas possibly. I might decide to just go with another Erin Condren and do the same thing, but I don't know. I'm kind of in the mood to change things up, but you never know. And you guys have the greatest ideas, so let me know what system you use. But again, that is gonna be it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby.